day kind of took a turn. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it. You could go to like the ending of somebody's life and celebrate somebody's life all in the same day. Like that just hit me. Wow. Mom and dad are around. Set, set, set. Yes, yeah, another weekend with the threats. This is half fun, half scary. <laughs> Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Thursday. What date? It's the end of June. That's all I got for you. Yeah. We are about to run some errands, so I'm just trying to get ready for I my not, day. Am I going to school? No school today. <laughs> we're about to go do a hair delivery, and then we are going to make a tenant key, and then we're going to meet that tenant, and then we're going no. to. We just running some errands. Um, I wanted to take the kids to breakfast, but I don't know. I don't even have a reason. Well, I do have a reason. I don't know. If that's gonna be running into naps and they're gonna act crazy and embarrass me in this restaurant or if it's gonna be cool so i might just get something quick and then head back but it's thursday which means the weekend is near so i'm like let's just get the weekend vlog started right so i'm say hi vloggy like sister hi vloggy <laughs> say hi vloggy it's something about those mornings where i take a little bit of extra time doing my edges Putting on a little bit of mascara and concealer. It just makes me feel more put together. Don't get me wrong. I've been going more bare face lately because that also feels nice to let your skin and your body and your mind just breathe. But I'm never mad at this either. And then also being able to sit at this new vanity in the morning. It's good for my mental. Alright, let's get this day started. The girls will get online and lie and act like they don't be um, trimming their edges. But I definitely trimmed mine this morning. <laughs> like it was a frontal. And they're laying so much better. I'm going to take this. I'll take it off when we get in the car because I know I'm about to sweat trying to get these kids in the car. But stay tuned. We'll be back. Quick phone clip because the camera's on the other side of the table charging. But we ended up coming out to eat. And every time I come out, I, have, I be having in my mind what I want it to taste like. And it don't be tasting like that. It, it just don't hit no more. Be giving like microwave breakfast. But we here. We here. We doing it. Yeah, you have some. Mm -hmm. This was not the most successful IHOP run ever. It was trash. I asked for well done pancakes, y'all. Look how white these pancakes are. Look, kind of ate, but not really. Did you like your food? Eli's eating the receipt. <laughs> Stop. This boy wanted to get out the wrap so he go wild out. But he, they did good. They did good. I ain't going, not too much on the kids. But this right here, no man. He put slob on it, but we about to go pay. Get up out of here. So I had a company collab. Happy Saturday, first of all. I have a company collab that's due today. And I haven't had an opportunity to film it until today. And somebody, I won't say no names or nothing, wanted to cry the whole time mommy was filming. Uh, good thing it's an audio list video. I don't even know what I just filmed right now. Like, it was one of those moments where you just hope you got something you can pull together and edit up because the anxiety of my child crying while trying to produce something of quality, it just... Wow, I'm gonna keep this outfit on just in case I need to go back to the camera, try to edit that up, and then we're gonna take it. What's wrong, Papa? What am I holding you? You need some milk? She's just fussing at me now? Okay. Books in the other room knocked out. We're going to check back in with y'all with 
with yeah with bug and nate because we are gonna ride out in a little bit let me go get help him get his legs together hey friends so our day kind of took a turn um we went out as a family before we went out alani wasn't really feeling good since yesterday she's been like sneezing like crazy coughing here and there but today it got worse so we got her some medicine while we were out i went to open up the medicine to give to her and ended up spilling the medicine over her mad water on myself like trying to do too much at once after that i was over it wanted to go home we get home alani began to get a fever she started at 100.4 by the time i decided we need to go to urgent care she was 101 and changed so took her to urgent care they tested her for rsv flu covid and strep and all came back negative thank god um so that's a plus but now we're just gonna get her some rest and chill out for the rest of the night i took clothes out for all of us to go to church tomorrow but that's pretty much a dub like i just want her to rest and get back to 100 percent and we're gonna figure it out from there yeah my girl is down bad but i'm grateful that she doesn't have strep covid rsv any of that because i was worried about it and the nurse practitioner was saying that her throat looked really red and the girl was exhibiting every symptom pretty much there is relative to those sicknesses so um yeah grateful that it's nothing too intense but i do want to get her better so we're about to chill for the rest of the night and i'll check in with y'all tomorrow good morning vlog today is Tuesday, June 20. Yep, and today, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Today, we're doing a morning routine. We really gotta do this morning routine because you've been talking about it for days. Yep. So, we're gonna film that soon, actually. So, we're gonna do it when we get back. So, we've been planning this for a long time. Mm hmm. Show them your makeup, though. Get into the look. Get into the makeup, okay? Okay. The girl said, I'm coming back. She's starting to feel better. She slept. Her aunt Eli napped for like two hours plus. It was lovely. Yes, yeah, but right now we're going to the restaurant. I'm so excited. But Me too. Actually, I'm so hungry. Actually, it's my first day and I'm so scared. But I also have something to tell you there. But it's just the price. So I can't tell you all right now. Are um, you feeling better? I told them you weren't feeling well. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. Good. I'm going to straighten up the room, make this bed, get our lives, and then we're yeah, going to be on gonna, our way. We're going to help. I'm gonna help mommy make the beds since they're so messy. Let's make the beds. I'm gonna feed Mr. Man and then we are out of here. Hello. Eli! Hey. Say, so, 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 so. I just realized that this um, baby stuff is going in the background, so I do apologize like for the it. noise. But ladies, 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 fellas too, if you need a perfume to buy for a lady in your life, me and Alani are tearing this flower bomb down. We're honestly almost through it because I got the tiny one just to see how I would like it. I love it. I'm going to end up getting the big bottle, but we'll check in with y'all at the restaurant. I just wanted to talk to y'all today because I feel crazy that the vlog didn't give what it was supposed to for the weekend, but life happened, health happened, and we I'm We're doing better. The girl is lifting weight, so if you could lift weights, you're doing better in life. Uh, right? Yeah. Why? Five, Strapping the baby season ain't no hope. Are the edges given today? They're all right. I feel like they kind of thinning. I'm just praying they don't fully fall out. But in the meantime, we're going to rock out how we rocking out. Let's go eat some tacos and drink some mugs. Huh? <laughs> Almost was on the ground. <laughs> Dad pulled up at the perfect time. Don't think he missed in front of vlogs because it's static. He just been working real yeah, hard. Working. We be home I'm vlogging. Working. I'm working. We working. Tell him we working. We working. Daddy. Daddy. 
my movement ain't. My movement ain't on fire. Hey friends, it is Wednesday, June 28th, boom. Um, it's nail day. This footage looks a little weird because I don't have my car mount today. Let me turn this car off so the air can stop competing with me for the sound, sheesh. Um, I don't have my car mount. I finally have my car in the salon, in the salon. What is going on? I finally have my car in the shop for repairs ever since it was stolen around my birthday. So I'm getting dad taken care of and in the meantime, my mom was nice enough to let me drive her car. So I'm driving her car and I'm about to get my nails done. My appointment's in one minute. I need to be getting out the car. But in the meantime, do y'all be listening to St. Harrison? If not, and you like R&B, good R&B, ooh, tap in. He is, he's like that, he's like that. Um, I think I'm gonna get this design. I couldn't figure out how one of my nails. I don't even know if I want that color, but I, <laughs> I don't have another plan. So we're gonna go with it and hopefully I like how it turns out. <sighs> Because I couldn't find anything else that I wanted. I also have been talking about getting my eyebrows started for like a year now. So after I'm done getting my nails done, I would like to get that done. Stay tuned to see if we actually make it that far. Shades are Timu. They're linked in the haul that I did. I like getting my nails done because I like the way it looks when I'm done. But I don't like the process. Like just sitting there with my hands in, in front of somebody's face. Waiting for it to be over it. It's like... Do I have a drop off and pick up option, man? I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go in here and get my nails done. And I will tap in with y'all. Tap in is the words of the day. All right. I'm going to tap in with y'all when we get done. All right, y'all. The nails are done. Something simple. Something cutesy. I cut them down because I feel like I've been poking the kids <laughs> way more than I should. It don't feel like Alani the other day was like, Ma, you poke me with your pokey nails. So I'm like, all right, let me cut them down for practicality right now because I'm in the very hands-on season. Like, the kids need touch, so I need nails that work. That was a long explanation to say. I just cut my nails down because of mom life. I'm about to go get these eyebrows taken care of. I'm hungry. I want to get food, but I don't know what I want yet. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm also craving a McDonald's iced coffee. I took Alani to get some hotcakes over the weekend, and when I was in college, I used to go hard on their iced coffees, so I was just like, let me just see what the iced coffee is hitting for for today. Y'all, that iced coffee was so fire. Like, no disrespect, but I don't think Dunkin' could ever. I can't believe I'm saying it. And they have something like $2 for any size. Cause what y'all putting in those cups that y'all making profit off of two dollar larges anyways i might go get one of those but i don't want food from there so i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm gonna start my eyebrows and go from there i also need to do a voiceover so i can post my content for today so i think i'm gonna go to the mall which is where the eyebrow place is girls get their nails and the nails gotta be in a frame the whole time but um i'm gonna go sit in the parking lot do my voiceover post the content post the content that I've been trying to post for the past, I don't know how many weeks, different conversations for a different day. We're gonna get into some things. But um, focus, girl, focus. It's now 1.18, I gotta pick up a line at three o'clock. So let's see, let's see. All right, I got the content done after all the technical difficulties in the world. But honestly, I've learned to not be so mad about technical difficulties whenever I'm trying to edit and put up content because I know, I know, I've learned, I've seen, it's been proven that most of the time, 90% of the time, 95, 97% of the time, when I'm having technical difficulties, that's the stuff that needs to get out the most. That's the stuff that needs to be heard the most. And the enemy don't be wanting the people to get freed and be, he don't want y'all to hear what y'all need to hear. So of course, any stumbling block, even right now, it's not. It's acting like it don't wanna go up. But it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up because it has to go up. I've been putting that off for weeks because I didn't know how to say it, how it was being downloaded onto me, but hopefully it was good enough to get to where it needs to be. So it's now 156. I got an hour before I gotta get big baby. And she's not far from where I am, but I don't know if there's gonna be a wait getting my brows done. So let's go in here and figure it out. I haven't had my brows started in years. I hope it does not feel like they are cutting into me, but let's see. That's probably why this one didn't hurt. 
skirt is back. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, that yeah, this yeah. one isn't so much thicker. You saying you want to take more off this one? No, no, no. You can leave it because I don't want any more off of this one. This one is bigger than this one. Yeah, I could fix that with the pin, so I just want them to be the same size. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. That's good. Okay. This is good, thank you. Whew. Sis did exactly what I was... I don't even have the words. Sis did exactly what I was afraid of. The reason why I've gone so long and haven't had my eyebrows touched by anybody else but myself Y'all saw me and Miss Girl was low key having to get into some things because this one was so much thicker. She said, You have good hair, you have good hair down here, but you don't have no growth over here. Sister, 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 sister. It does not matter. They need to be the same size. This one was so thick, and she wanted to take more off of this one. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Granted, I have been looking at videos on myself like, all right, the brows is too thick, like they out of control, but can they at least be even? I'm gonna put some brow gel on it later and see if it's doing a little bit better, but. I was pressed to get my brows threaded only for sis to slaughter them. Also, that shit hurts. We not gonna sit and act like threading is painless. Oh, how do they make those two pieces of thread feel like that? Ooh, it hurt. Y'all saw I, was, I had to ask for some tissue. She was really nice, so I will say that. She was nice, but come on. I ain't go there for her to be nice. I went there for her to get my eyebrows right. It's over. It's done. We done. <laughs> We're not rambling about this. I need to find some food. It's 2.16. I still have 45 minutes. I love that for me, but I'm trying to fill the time. I also feel like I need to go to the grocery store to get some um, meat because I had turkey meat out last night so I can make spaghetti. But I didn't make the spaghetti because my mother texted me like, you want to go to taco night? And I'm not going to turn down tacos and Mars. Like, are you done? So... I think I'm gonna go replace that meat real quick. Cause if I take Alani to the grocery store, she's gonna be trying to buy all types of stuff. Baby be thinking she's supposed to fill her shopping cart. No ma'am. So I think I'm gonna go get that real quick, then I'm gonna go get her. Yeah, that's the plan. I talked to Nate and he was saying that he had taken the meat and put it in the fridge last night. Is it just me or do y'all be feeling like when you defrost the meat, you gotta cook the meat? Cause if you put it back in the fridge, then it's not gonna be good. I don't know. But I came to the beauty supply. They're shut down for their Islamic holiday. So I'm about to go into at home. I've been wanting to look for some photos, some wall art to go above my vanity, my new vanity setup. So I'm gonna go in here and see if they got something for the low. Only if it's for the low. Yeah, let's see. Camera's about to die. I hope it sticks beside me. I feel like this is giving cougar auntie vibes. I know I said for the low and these are $8, but I feel like this is very much baby girl step your cookies up. Like they're very little. Paquito. Um, they have these which are bigger also $7.99 but I don't want it to look cheap. I just need it to be cheap. So I'm gonna keep looking. I love that one. I also like this one in addition to this one because I feel like on the days where I'm rushing at the vanity I need the reminder. But the theme for my vanity area is gold and browns and nudes and I feel like this will throw it off even though the wall is gray. That's not the theme of the, the area. I'm gonna keep looking. They better have the melanated mommies in here. So the more I think about it, I don't want no, I don't want words or like nothing cheesy. I want abstract. Ooh, this is cute, but I don't want people either. This is the vibe I'm going for. But will I find what I, exactly what I need? I also would prefer for it to be brown. I wish I could just throw some stuff on a canvas. I mean, I could, but throw it on a canvas and make it come to life how, it's, how it is in my mind. Oh, you're so sweet, honey. Say, 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 Hey girl, how was it? It was good. Have a great time. What's up, y'all? Today is Thursday, June 29th. 
I got my little shorty with me. Hi, Woggy. Today we're gonna give me some rainbow beads. We're at the hair store, yep. and I'm so excited. And we're we about to have a car what? Picnic, and I always wanted more rainbow beads because I've been planning this all year, and I've been um, telling my mom a lot. So yeah, we're about to get into this food and then go into the hair store and then we're going to continue with our day. I just want to say thank you to the shorty at Biscuitville that put me on to the fact that you could get a McMuffin with turkey sausage instead of the biscuit. Oh, it goes crazy. I live for a slow morning where, yeah, I got to get the kids up and out, but we could get out. I can enjoy a breakfast that I didn't have to make. And it's all good. The weekend plans are changing constantly, but I'll talk to you about that later. I want to get into the food. We'll be back. This girl's shopping down. One gloss, daughter. One gloss. <laughs> one. Get the glittery one. That one's cute. All right, only two more things. I call myself Kim with the girls, and look what these two got into in the meantime. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow, fun, wow. Ooh, ooh, turn the circle. Okay. Ooh, can I get a smile? Ooh. his face into it and suffocate uh, so I'm just sitting here on YouTube instead <coughs> what's up friends what's up y'all oh the hair is snitching on me mm -mm, mm -mm, get back anyways happy Friday it's Friday it's Friday it's Friday it's Friday it's Friday it's my cousin's birthday so we going up later but first, life is crazy. Like, it, it just has so many um, extremes. Like, you could go to, like, the ending of somebody's life and celebrate somebody's life all in the same day. Like, that just hit me. Wow. I'm on my way to a funeral. Funeral is an hour and 40 minutes away. My best friend's father passed away, unfortunately, unexpectedly. And so, let me over you. I just couldn't allow her to close the casket on her father and I not be there to support her. Oh, I gotta get a card, I didn't get a card. If I have time to stop, I'll get a card. The funeral begins at one and it's 12.40, but I just wanted to tell y'all, like, I was so freaking anxious last night. Like, I might have slept a total of four hours and that's like on the lucky end. But for some reason, like, anytime I gotta go to a funeral, I'm spooked out before the funeral, during the funeral, after the funeral. Like, I be having dreams about people dying and like waking up out of their caskets or like walking around or like doing crazy stuff or like I just keep seeing the person and I'm like girl you did not you're going to support your best friend you did not know this man and you're still being scary what is wrong with you so then in the middle of the night I just got aggravated with myself like girl at this point you're I'm forcing you to go on this funeral and act like you got some sense because why are you being so scary and then I thought about it and I know it's because I haven't had Thank God, please don't let me be jinxing anything, knock on wood, knock on all the surfaces. God, please, I am grateful. But it's because I have not had to deal with death and funerals constantly in my life. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. And it hasn't become something that's been 
desensitized for me so it's always been kind of like I don't know because I feel like some people even if they don't deal with death like they're not spooked by dead bodies and whatnot. but it's just ugh, I could do without it but also and I want to say like also who can do with it but some people like people enjoy morbid stuff like that anyway I'm on the way up here we'll see how it goes funeral so i mean come on um also we ran into some outfit malfunctions today i put on the dress that i wore to my uncle's funeral right before i got pregnant with eli and baby i was reminded yet again that the back is big the back is bigger than it was i ain't going not too much on me but that dress is zipped but it barely zipped my mom had to zip it for me got to her house to drop the kids off so i rolled back open and it was just shorter, it was tighter, it was uncomfortable. I was like, you know what? I'm about to throw on my flowy Timo dress. Mm-hmm. And call it a day. I got my Starbucks. It's hitting for what it's supposed to be hitting for. Mm-hmm. And we're on our way up this highway. I got my car back. Hence the car mount. She's looking good. She's looking shiny. She's looking all things new. We love to see it. The blessings are rolling in, y'all. If you're in a transitional financial spot, I'm gonna need y'all to do this for me. If you're ever in a tight financial spot or you, you just want more money in your life, you want your finances to flow a little different, repeat after me. Money comes to me easy. Money comes to me fast. Money comes to me unexpectedly. Money comes to me in abundance. I spend it wisely. I invest it wisely. I've been saying that all week and I lie to y'all not. I've come up on, I don't, that feels weird giving numbers, but I've come up on brand deals this week. I got an unexpected deductible refund this morning from the rental accident I was in. Unexpected payments, my dad pulled up. I was supposed to get my oil changed, didn't get a change. He was like, well, I'm right here across the street, I was holding a spot. Like, my dad, don't play about me, okay? Um, he pulls up, he's like, oh, I got you. I'm going to take my card out to put it into the machine. He already got his card out, I said, oh, you blessing me? Because one thing I've learned too in this season is, I used to be so prideful, like, this conversation is going somewhere else, but I know somebody needs it as usual. I used to be prideful, like, no, I got it, I got it, but then I'm still low-key struggling. Like, no, if people are willing to pour into you and bless you, whether you got it or not, accept your blessings. I saw this interview clip of Lotto, and she was like, I had to tell my sister, or maybe her sister told her, somebody's sister was telling somebody, accept your blessings. That's how she said it. Accept your blessings. Like, if God is giving you blessings, why are you turning them away? You want more, right? So accept the ones that you're already getting. I accepted this full tank of gas. I accepted the blessing of yesterday, the day before, and I'm gonna continue with my hands open because God is pouring up. I'll check on with y'all a little later. I don't know if it's gonna be before I go in the funeral or what, but. All right, I made it. My nerves are all over the place. Mostly wondering if my friend is okay, so I'm about to get in here to her, and I'll be back after the service. Cool friends, it's hot. Y'all could probably hear the air. I can't even turn it down. I I just won't edit this and put it in a vlog if. It's so hot, I can't think straight. If it's noisy, y'all not y'all not ever gonna see this. It's cool. It's so hot, I got back in the car and one of my teeth is hanging out on my TMI, TMI, per usual. Like, it's, it's hot, just know it's hot. We made it. The funeral is done, my best friend is so good. I'm so proud of her. Um, and God don't play about me because the casket was already closed when I got in here. I, I'm working on it, but it's something about seeing somebody in a casket that just gonna be sitting right with my soul. But we're about to go drink. <laughs> and then we'll be on our way. Hey guys. What's up on the grill? I'm so happy. You so happy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so nice. Yeah, Put up on my woman. I had to come see about her. So I walked in the church and I tapped her on the back and I said, friend, you breathing? And who do you think it was? I thought she was a cousin that I didn't know. And I she was said, like, mm -hmm. I did breathe like this. <laughs> she literally turned around. Turn around. She's talking about, mm -hmm. I'm like, she don't even know who it is. Turn I turned around, so. I'm like, no woman is That's here. That's what we're getting. Came to see about my girl. So I am now on my way back to Charlotte. It is 8.08. It's saying I'll be back by 9.22. And then it's Dion's birthday. Um, so I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I'm so tired. Y'all saw I was up last night at like 4 a.m. Cause I just, anxiety was on my ass. And for no reason, like your anxiety is always lying to you. I've said this in a vlog before, but it will always make it feel like it's gonna be so much worse than it is. And it's never as bad as you think it's gonna be. There will be no nap. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, reset. And then we're going outside for my cousin's birthday. It's up. And then tomorrow's another cousin's birthday. So we're going on a boat. Like, <laughs> the birthdays are going today, okay? I 
got Ferrada with me as always. All the, the cops are behind me and turn this off. Oof. All right, friends, we made it home. It is 9.19. Everybody's supposed to be meeting at the spot at 10 o'clock. My back. <laughs> the way I want to go in here and go to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna go find my second wind, drink some ice water, figure out what I'm putting on my body, and I'm gonna keep going. Auntie is tired, okay? Mom and dad are right. Set, outside. set, set, set. What it do? <laughs> also, just because I love y'all for pulling up. For life, more success. I want everybody to do what they want. Still alive. We yeah. made it. I was always good. <laughs> they was y'all was turned up last night though, as they should have been. Happy birthday to uh, Cuzzo Dion, man. Happy birthday, my boy. You had a hundred percent, huh? For me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm at a smooth sixty and got the nerve to be about to do it again. And I'm what about you about to, to go, do? Um, about to link up with Dion, Art, Larry, and yeah, we about to go bowling or whatever. So yeah, that's all I'm about to do. Just chill out till later. Ready for your boat situation? Is my boat situation ready for me? No. No. I'm gonna get ready though. <sighs> my body is like water, sleep, but the boat is like liquor. Ganja me. They about to be turned up on that boy. Hey man, y'all better not fall off that boat. You know they say people fall in that. Some people fall in that water and don't get out. That's a fact. That's why I'm not swimming in that water. I'm not doing it. They about to go have a good time. I'm about to go have a good time. And yeah, it's another weekend with the threats. As you heard. So this yeah. vlog started so slow and then it just started picking up. The girls started getting into some things. This is how it was going down on the boat. Let's get into it. so peaceful we just got off the boat it was a vibe even though even though we had to travel through storm waters like i'm just appreciating the beauty of nature right now my inner eliza thornberry is coming out i'm just soaking up the sun before i have to go back to the madness of motherhood beautiful madness but the madness nonetheless yeah i'm just vibing you know yeah so yeah i'm just enjoying it because why would i not catch this sun do y'all see that yeah. Happy Sunday. Y'all already know the vibes. What Yo. Do? Set, set, set. What it do? Y'all know me. 
Wait, it's Miss Girl back here getting the lips together. You're right, boo. You said not yet. You're not ready yet. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come on, Let's chill on her. Long. She said she's not ready yet. We are on the way into the church house. We need to get in here because we already a little right, bit behind. Go we gonna see y'all after church for the the after church brunch I got vibes. No, not yet. Oh, not yet. All right, so we're going to get Alani on camera after we get out of church. So just go to the next slide. We out of church by then. Yeah. Well, I'm about to show y'all right now. The girl went back outside last night. Well, it's Monday. It's officially back to reality. You already know the vibes. We eating breakfast. About to take this pretty mummy to school. And I'm going to start working on this vlog because it needs to go up. It's been too long since the last one. Really like eight. I don't want to go past ten days. Like I try to do every seven, but ten next. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If you made it this far, you a real one. You really, a, you, you a set member. Like that's all it is. We're out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Go ahead and click that button. Not now, but right now. Hit us with some like buttons. The iPad is back loud in the back. I hope y'all can hear me. And leave us some love in the comments. Like, we appreciate the silent watchers, but talk to us. Leave us some love. And we'll catch y'all in the next one.